Grammy. What an incredible 90 years you've lived. We felt that a life this good deserved its own coffee table book. That way, whoever comes to visit can learn all about the life of one amazing woman. Happy 90th, Grammy. I wish we could be there to celebrate with you. Love, Rachel. Okay, page one. Let's see what we had to say. Cindy says, this was their wedding day. I don't think I was there. Bobby says, he was stationed out at the base as a second lieutenant. We got married. This was our wedding. Deborah says, I have mom's wedding dress in the original box it was mailed to her. I sometimes get it out just to look at the beautiful lace and try to imagine her as that little girl when she got her wedding dress, excited to marry that handsome young second lieutenant. Next one. Bobby says, New York, we traveled a lot. I don't like my hairdo here. <laughs> Deborah says, this picture reminds me of a trip we took to New York for the World's Fair that must have made it 1964. We climbed to the top of the Statue of Liberty, all those steps up, that spiral staircase, then looking back to see Manhattan. It was so amazing. Deborah says, standing in front of a historic little church in front of the Grand Tetons, another good Crowley family trip. Mom and Dad always made sure we got to see beautiful places and significant things on our trips. Julie says, what a great trip. Staying at the Old Faithful Inn was a highlight. We were old enough that Mom and Dad let the three of us have the run of the place, and I remember having a complete blast exploring every nook and cranny of that iconic inn. We were close as sisters. Moving always brought us closer, as we'd find we had each other when we'd lost our friends. Cindy says, the Grand Tetons. I think this was taken during our move to Mer from Merced to Oscoda. This is the iconic shot of the Tetons. That's me in the kitchen, says Bobby. Julie said, I loved that house in Merced. I don't remember why, but the backyard had no grass and mom let it grow until the weeds grew over our heads. We would make paths through the weeds, turning it into a maze. She finally hired a high school boy to come cut them down. Sunday nights in that house were always spent watching the Smothers Brothers and Carol Burnett on TV. She especially loved Carol. Cindy says, the Merced Kitchen. This brings back so many memories. We lived in this house the year Dad served in Vietnam. It was an extremely difficult time for Mom. I remember she and Dad wrote letters to each other every day. Dad often sent audio recordings reel to reel rather than write a letter. Whoever took this picture was sitting at the breakfast bar, which is where Mom wrote her letters. I know where this is. Deborah says, happy family gatherings. So true. Cindy says, Cabo, what a magical vacation that was. I remember going through the gate to the community, Pedregal, and the guards always waving us in without any questions. We joked about donning some ski masks. We suspected they would still wave us through without blinking. I also remember the fabulous staff making us our dinner one night and going to town several mornings for breakfast and discovering chilaquiles for the first time. And best of all was the look on mom and dad's face when they looked up in the pool one night and saw Rachel, who was supposed to be in China, standing there. Deborah says camping at canal state forest rachel and jonathan were probably 12 and 10 and so excited to see grammy and papa's house on wheels cindy says camping livingston this could have been any number of camping trips but i'm gonna say it was the one in livingston texas just south of nacogdoches my friend donna brought her daughter shannon and once we got there rachel and shannon didn't waste any time trolling by the time they'd made their second loop around the park they had every guy in the park following them it was fun to watch Julie says, I think I had the same Jeremy look on the picture <laughs> taken at Yellowstone. The trip from Merced to Oscoda was the summer between 7th and 8th grade for me. 7th grade was the one year I was popular in school and I did not want to leave Merced. Deborah says, we also spent some time in Yellowstone on the Grand Tetons trip. It's obvious how excited mom was at having a teenager and two preteens. <laughs> yeah, I remember sneaking Pixie into our room at the Old Faithful Lodge. Cindy says, Yellowstone Overlook. This was also our trip to Oscoda. We stayed at the Old Faithful Inn and snuck Pixie in. No dogs allowed. Ooh, classic. 
The back deck at the Lakeway house. What else needs to be said? That's right, Deborah. Cindy says, family portrait, portrait on the deck. The infamous family picture when Jeremy was so miffed at me and really didn't want his picture taken. That deck. Deborah says, I was sailing the boat on Lake Travis that beautiful day. We anchored with some other boat friends in their cove for a happy hour, dinner, and some jet ski fun. One of my very best memories. Cindy says, sailboat snuggle. Love this picture. It really captures their love. Some of their best memories were on that boat. 